The city hall debate over the gunshot detection system shot spotter continues this morning. Mayor Brandon Johnson is promising to veto a majority vote to continue the system. I'm joined by 15th Ward Alderman Ray Lopez, who is a supporter of the technology. Alderman, thanks for stopping by this morning. Thank you for having me. So the mayor has said the move to keep shot spotter violates a separation of powers act. What's your response to that? You know, the city of Chicago has the ability to enact laws. That's our main primary focus. And we've not only enacted a law that gives the police superintendent the ability to maintain contracts, but we also issued an order saying that we wanted to keep this technology in our communities that already have them. And the mayor has chosen to ignore and now argue against the two laws that we've passed. That is what our custom is in the city of Chicago. We pass hundreds of orders every year. And you can't just cherry pick the laws you want to enforce and the ones you don't simply because you disagree with us. Yeah, and so he campaigned on this issue, but that was, I'm sure, well before he was able to speak to all the aldermen and clearly well before he was able to take a vote um, of the city. This is estimated to cost city taxpayers $53 million a year. Do you think there's a better way to protect public safety? Well. Let me just say, we've spent $53 million over 10 years. Okay. So this technology, which has been reduced in price by 48%, will remain in effect under a new contract if the mayor signs it all of this year and all into next year to allow the city to lower down and put out a proper RFP to properly look for the next technology and not leave communities abandoned without any kind of life-saving technology. That's what we want to see. That's what the company wants to see because it's responsible leadership. And the mayor can say if he's like that, look, I got in, I assessed, I had to make a course correction. That's part of life. That's part of governance. And his unwillingness to do that is going to set up communities, not just for failure, but for fatalities. Over the last 14 months, since January 2023 to present, 1,976 lives have been saved by gunshot de technology detection when no 911 call was placed. Mm. I don't want to be the elected official who has to go to the first family once this goes dark and tell them that we could have saved your loved one had we just simply worked it out. And I don't think the mayor wants to be that person either. You know, the thing that surprised me the most that kind of has come out of this debate is that the shot spotter technology has detected 30,000 gunshots in the city of Chicago. What is going on in our city? 30,000 gunshots. Clearly, we have an addiction to carnage in the city of Chicago. And that's something that, to be fair, predates Mayor Johnson, predates Lori Lightfoot, even Rahm Emanuel. This is just something that we've seen escalating over the years. But we've also seen where lawlessness gets excused time and time again. And if we're going to require police to do more, to do constitutional policing and to make better cases for arresting criminals, you need as many tools in the toolbox to accomplish that and to have a technology that can identify the type of weapon and where it was shot within three feet is an excellent tool. But we are trying to take technology out of policing. And where do you draw the line? Will license plate readers be next? Will cameras be next? Where do you say there's too much technology because you're catching too many criminals doing too many bad things? So this a vote was one vote short of veto proofing what the mayor can do. The contract is set to uh, expire on Sunday. What happens next? Well, my colleagues and I are discussing calling the city council back. We are going to keep fighting for this. We were prepared to do a special meeting the other day uh, after city council. If the mayor did not take any kind of action, we we had action, but we fell short. But I think it's worth fighting one more time just to see what we can do because there are plenty of lives that are impacted on a daily basis. We just had a situation in back of the yards, 51st and Laughlin, where gunshot technology, detection technology, brought us to a mass shooting at a Zumba place. Mm -hmm. This is important to people. This is important to us, and it should be important to the mayor if he understands his constituency here in the city of Chicago. So we will keep fighting. We will look to see what our legal options are as well because there are precedents that he is setting that I don't think he wants to go down that path with. So we will continue fighting on for the people of Chicago. Alderman Lopez, keep us posted, please. You, I know you will.